Today is a super exciting day. We're going to be flying the brand new Citation CJ4. P.S. We're not buying a Citation CJ4, but this is going to be an awesome flight. Come on board, let's go. We got good fuel, we got good battery. So we're gonna go right to the first engine start. It's right. clear right. Clear right. It's gonna be a push and release. Okay. And then Here we go. Activate there. Alright, here we go. Thank you. And two. It's ignition. Show flow. Time's coming up. Start to me. Good start there. Let's go Avionics on. Avionics on. Speaker is muted, and let's just repeat that process. You got it. On the left side. Clear left. Generator assisted store helps so much. Oh, yeah. That's correct. Well, they originally were lithium ion battery. That was, yeah. That was nice. Yeah. yeah. Alright. It's a good start to me. Good. Really is out. And let me just show sure. what we got for clearance. Yep. We've got uh, Westchester 7 radar vectors. Grecky. Grecky. Alright. S filed, Judd's Cambridge, Direct Lebanon. Looks great. Maintain 3000 initial. 410 in 10 minutes. I see it. We have a squawk of 1714 and 120.8 for departures. All right. Finish up the takeoff data here. Speeds are posted. I see, yep. Looks good to me. I see speeds 93, 97, 111, and 140. Autopilot on and then disengage if you could. Yep, you got it. Autopilot. Autopilot. That's good to me. Flight control check. All right, I am up on my side. Yeah, just down over here. I'm down on my side. Down yeah, side. Free and correct, what you need. Okay. Yeah, speed brakes and ground spoilers. All right, here we go. All right, everything's up it's to the up. ground. And up. Okay. Yeah. I feel like a big boy jet pilot with the big lever, yeah, the speed yeah, brake exactly. lever. Hydraulic pressures again confirmed good there. 5100. Pressurization looks good, so I am ready to call for taxi if you're ready. I am ready when you are. Let me go through the uh, freaks here. I'm going to be on COM2 actually. Sure, sounds good. I'll switch myself over. Let's see, 21825. Yep. Ross West, 500 July Delta. Well, Mr. Colossus is calling on ground. Okay. With that, uh, uh, eight, seven, 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 you're familiar with the departure right now? Yep, so. 1,000 feet, then left turn heading 295. Vectors from there, be a right turn, probably 070 once we get uh, 
to the departure. That's what I've seen happen to everybody. That yeah. Departed, so. <laughs> there you go. All, All right. right. Brakes. I get the radios. All right. Brake, brakes coming off. Ground November 325 Charlie Juliet Ross East Edis Hotel Taxi. 325 Charlie Juliet Ground Army 34 Taxi Alpha Hold Short Runway 29. 34 via Alpha Hold Short of 29 or 325 Charlie Juliet. All right, 34 via Alpha Hold Short of 29. I'm clear left on my side. Clear right. All right, here we go. I missed the fourth. So much more room up here. It's nice. Sure. And uh, I'd say the dual zone temperature control is a big deal right. too. Right. Variable speed. Fans. Absolutely. Those are kind of things I said you don't think about them at the start, but then once you start using, oh, this is nice. Yep. And the four cools down so well in the uh, yeah. summertime. No, it's beautiful. All right. Taxi checks when you're ready. Okay, brakes, Mr. Bye. Instructions fly, runway heading, climb and maintain 5,000. And confirm answer for 325, Charlie, Juliet, sir. Affirmative, runway heading, climb and maintain 5,000. Okay, now cleared uh, the runway heading up to 5,000, 325, Charlie, Juliet. 5,000 here. Yep, thanks. Three, runway heading in 5,000. Uh, My brakes were good. You want to test yours? Check mine. Your controls. Okay, you got it. Brakes are good. All right. Hold short, short, short two nine. Or hold short two nine. Close in traffic. Two nine are on Juliet. Juliet, hold short runway two nine. Runway three four. Flexion three seventy six. Station five, Charlie Juliet, cross runway two nine are at Alpha. Continue Alpha to runway three four. Cross two nine are clear to the approach end three four. Three two five, Charlie Juliet. All right, I'm clear left. He's taxiing cross. 2-9, should be a factor. Clear this way, clear left, thank you. Winchester Ground, Bonanza, 432 Delta Zulu, Ross, we have hotel, looking for an easterly departure, 5500 anticipated altitude. He's stopping. Give you just a shade more nose up for that departure. Appreciate it. Thanks. Here. Ground Mooney 110. We've got clearing 29 at Charlie going on. Final checks. We've got flaps at 15. 15 indicating. Straight in through our flaps. Error set three, three, three times. Three green, green. We'll have a weather bias check. Alright, I'm going to do that right Kilo now. Kilo Lima at 3 4 behind the Mooney. 2 Delta Zulu. Ground, uh, Phenom 320, Gulf Victor, Signature West, taxi. All right, right. right's good. 320, Gulf Victor, West, Chester, the ground, the runway. Tell you what, hold short of the taxiway, Kilo, please. And left's good. Rotor bias check is looking good. Okay. Nice. Got tower up there, got departure in there. Awesome. So, crew brief, heats and lights to go now. Awesome. Uh, so it's going to be a left seat departures. The Westchester 7 has been amended. It's runway heading into 5,000 okay. feet. Uh, anything below V1 is max braking. Frosty the speed brakes up. Uh, I'll maintain directional control. You'll tell ground what's going on. Yep. If it's an emergency evacuation, we'll stop on the runway. You'll advise tower and we'll get out the airplane. If not, we'll just taxi off, make a right back into the uh, Ross East um, and figure out the problem Start from up. there. Um, anything above V1, we'll continue or rotate at 97. If it's a critical item, number five. November We're on fire. Charlie Julia, runway 34, line up and wait. Line up and wait 34, 325 Charlie. We will, uh, we'll come back, emergency return into White Plains. If it's not critical, we'll take it in the air, we'll sort out the problem. We'll talk about when coming back here, or maybe going to Stewart, the yep, Textual okay. Service Center. Any questions? No questions. All right. So I'm going to take off LNAV, and then we'll... Just got the toga button to go. Yep. i reach over your torpedo. Thank you. That. Number 325, Charlie Juliet, wind 320 at 90, runway 34, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 34, 325, Charlie Juliet, rolling. You happy to go? All right, All right here we go. Stable. Takeoff power okay, is set. Power is made, engines are good, airspeed's alive, panel is normal. You. There's 83 times. Roger. V1 rotating. Positive rate. Gear up, please. Two and ten flaps up. 
Got Empress coming on. I'm Thank you. Touch heading for you. Appreciate it. And we'll go climb power. Station 5, Charlie, due to contact departure 12018. Due to departure 5, Charlie, Juliet, thanks. Departure November 325, Charlie, Juliet, it's runway heading 2000, climbing 5 now. Citation 325, Charlie, Juliet, near departure, good afternoon, your rate of contact, climb and maintain 16000, proceed direct recce. 16000, direct recce, 325, Charlie, Juliet. Alright, 16 when you can, recce please. Thank you. And uh, what level change when you can, please? Thank you. And if you touch V now, it'll give you the 240 oh, on that. Let's do that. Sweet. We are out of here. 6,000 feet per minute. Still going. Gotta love the four. Hey, climb checks. We got landing gear up, flaps are up. We've got the throttles under control. We do have differential pressure. It's coming up. Thank you. Dampers on. Citation 5 Charlie Julie. Climb and maintain flight level 230 and flight heading 020 vector for your climb. Flight level 230 heading 020. 325 Charlie Julie. All right. 020. And heading, please. Thank you. 40 come back contact via approach 120.15. It's going to climb in a little steep just to kind of get up there. Passenger safety lights are off. Squadron, reflection 376. Yeah, yeah, climb checks are done. We'll be standing by for altimeters at 180. All right. Autopilot's coming on. Citation 5, Truly Juliet, Boston Center has your request for the climb. They're going to do what they can. Contact Boston Center at 134.3. 34 to F13, 5 Charlie Jr. Boston, November 325, Charlie Juliet, 12000, climbing flight level 230. There are 325, Charlie Juliet, Boston, Center, All right. Well, everyone, welcome on board. Today is a very exciting day. We're in the brand new Citation CJ4. Charlie Julie, uh, fly heading of 350. Heading 350, 325 Charlie Julie. All right, 350. Uh, we're in the brand new Citation CJ4 Generation 2, which uh, just uh, uh, is starting deliveries now. I don't yeah, know how many has been delivered yet and, uh, so far. Uh, this is the first one. First one, first one we're in the first uh, Citation uh, CJ4 Generation 2. Uh, a big thank you to Texan Aviation for providing the aircraft today for us to be able to uh, show it off to everyone and, and show you how cool it is. Um, there's some pretty cool features uh, in the airplane that uh, are unique to the CJ4, uh, rather than obviously in the 3 Plus that everyone is used to on my channel. Um, so we'll talk about that a little bit as we and climb up. Uh, November to 25, Charlie Julia, climb and maintain flight level 410. Climb and maintain flight level 410, 325, Charlie Julia. Thank you, sir. November 325, Charlie Julia, contact 21. the Boston Center 125.57. 25 decimal 57, 325, Charlie Julia. Boston, November 325, Charlie Juliet is flight level 190 zero climbing to 410. Or four two, uh, 325, Charlie Juliet, Boston, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. So, uh, yeah, that is what's going on. We're flying up to Lebanon, New Hampshire, which is a really cool airport. It's kind of in the mountains. It's, uh, has some really beautiful scenery, so that would be very exciting. We're going to climb up to 41,000 feet to kind of demonstrate to everyone the differences in performance of the CJ4. You're going to be you know, going up quite a bit faster. There's the swept wing, uh, which has about 12 and a half degrees of sweep compared to the three plus, which is a straight wing. Um, so you get some additional performance from that. Um, and also you have a, almost a thousand more pounds of thrust on each engine. So. Charlie Julius, turn them right, heading 010. Heading 010, 5 Charlie Julius. 010. 419, Bowen, to center maintain, follow level so that's uh, what's happening today. Big thank you to the New York Tracon for uh, provide, for helping out uh, my buddy Toby and, and the guys there for, for helping uh, get us to climb up to 41 to, to help demonstrate um, 
some of the different performance features on this airplane. So thank you to them, and again, a big thank you to Textron. Thank you to you for, for coming up, and I appreciate it. Thank Very you so welcome. much. You're welcome. And there's a min time to climb schedule, if you want to follow that closely. Oh, that's Once cool. Point five seven. we'll just hold 5.7. All the way up. I'll get you 15 minutes up to uh, 21,000. You heard it here. 15 minutes to 41,000 feet. I think the record I've done in the three plus, I was light. I think it was about 18 or 19 minutes. But this has it beat by quite a bit. You can see we're at 25,000 feet. And we're still climbing it. 3,300 feet per minute, which is uh, pretty crazy. So we're using the uh, the avionic systems at Collins Proline 21, which is uh, obviously different than the Garmin G3000. You have more of the uh, traditional kind of uh, large jet FMCs. So it's not touchscreen. It has more of the uh, the left to right sort of progression rather than the up and down, which Garmin uh, which Garmin has. Both great systems, just a little uh, different in their ways of how everything is laid out. I think uh, one of the cool things about the CJ4 and also the 3 Plus and all the different CJs, it's all under one type rating, the yes. 525, yeah. the light jet, which is, um, I think, has quite a bit of, uh, it's very unique and it's also gives you so many options to be able to jump in a 3 Plus and say, no, I'm going to go in the 4 or go in the M2. It increases your flexibility and also when you uh, need contract pilots. Availability is higher. Absolutely. So that's, uh, I believe it's CJ1, 1 plus, CJ2, 2 plus, 3, 3 plus, 4, M2. That's great. Yeah. It's a lot of airplanes on one type rating. Can you confirm that fixed broadway so is not on our plane? That's uh, one of the unique things Bravo which I think kind of they'll say, well, it's a different avionics. So it must be a, a different type rating. But it's uh, it's not, which is, uh, which is kind of cool. The actual fact is the type rating is based more on flying characteristics. So from the early Citation jet to yeah. the Boring 4 to the M2 to the others in between, yeah. they exhibit similar flying characteristics. Yeah. So uh, takeoff, roll, initial climb, 30, 30 slow flight, steep turns, approach to stalls, yeah. landing configuration. Uh, it's very similar throughout the aircraft the line, yeah. so that's what allows that similar type zero, rating. Yeah, no, I definitely you know, taken off, obviously you have a bit more juice. Uh, yes. Um, but you you definitely, I mean, I didn't feel that there was a difference in flying the three plus as I did the, um, the four, so. Do you still call it the CJ4 or the CJ4 Gen 2? I have not been able to switch my yeah, uh, your regular yet. Yeah. 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 The Gen 2 CJ4 is a yes. little, that's what I'm working yeah, on. Yeah, you're working on that. That's awesome. Or just the Gen 2. Gen 2, find the Gen 2 today. So, uh, so, uh, yeah, so with the, uh, the Gen 2, it's, it's kind of awesome. They've done quite a few different upgrades. Um, biggest thing, I think, well, some of the biggest things is the stairs, complete redesign of the stairs. The stairs, the forward cabinetry. I have one more Bravo Heavy contact New York Center 132.17. Good day. Boston, November 325, Charlie Juliet. Flight level 350, climbing 410, direct Cambridge. November 325, Charlie Juliet, Boston Center. How much time do you need at altitude? What do you think? Five minutes? Ten minutes? Probably five minutes, ma'am. And then we'll be ready for the uh, descent into Lebanon. Roger that. So, stairs, and I think that's noticeable. Yes. Upgrade. Entry with yep. the handrail the handle. that allows you to assist as you enter or leave the aircraft. Yep. Galley Number area, one, four, five, cabinetry, two, uniform, the, the two-place couch that now one, incorporates fold-down panels to right. uh, lay luggage or catering or other items on. Yep. And of course the skylights in the Which uh, is very laboratory. cool. Yes. Go into the bathroom and you have this beautiful skylights kind of coming in on you. It's very cool. But I think the, the stairs, having that additional step, yes. you don't have to have that big step up. It's just kind of this nice progression. Certainly. I think really yeah. adds quite a bit. Um, so it's uh, it's quite a nice, I think, improvement. And so. you can talk about a little bit about the logo. You can, so... So there is a, cool. a logo light that will uh, display on the surface of the ground right underneath the steps, right. and that is customizable per the customer's request. So. Yeah, C you could put a Citation Max logo on yes, there. Yes, you could. Yeah, there you go. Um, guys, no, don't get any ideas, don't get any ideas. Um,
Yeah, but uh, no, I, uh, this is a, uh, I think it's just walking into the airplane and you feel, has that bigger jet, you know, going onto a latitude or, a, you know, s those sort of things. It has that sort of presence a bit, um, which is, which is cool. And, and then you have a sink. Yes. And a, 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 which. Running water. And yeah. Sink, uh, obviously nice feature yeah. in the lavatory area. Yeah. I think that's, uh, definitely gives it more of a bigger jet feel to it. And some styling to the aircraft and, yeah. and the utility, obviously. Yeah. I think it's uh, an underrated feature being able to wash your hands. And, you know, a long yeah. flight. No, but you know what yeah. I mean? It's just a nice thing to be able to... Freshen up after eating. Yeah. Absolutely. And also, Max, I'm sure you noticed the uh, seats and the stitching on the seats. It's uh, beautiful. The upgraded interior items. Makes it look very, very modern. Yeah. And I think also, just from other kind of planes, I've, it's more cushion. There's more kind of Comf it's more comfortable. A little different yeah. 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 No, I was, uh, I was very, very kind of sitting back there. I was like, oh, you said this back there. It's nice. You don't no, want to trade the front no, seats for the back no, seats. Not no, yet, anyway. Definitely not. No, no, no. I, I couldn't give this up. But, uh, no, it's, uh, I think from a pilot's perspective, the type ratings and all that stuff, and then put the passengers in the back, now the upgrades. And, right. and then I was, I was looking online. Now there's, so in the four, there's, so the three plus guys, there's no uh, difference between climate control up front and in the back. Yes, that's true. This now, aircraft, yeah, dual zone temperature control, which is nice, with variable speed fans, and it has a Textron Aviation exclusive. It's called Vortex Coolers, incorporated in the environmental system. That's cool. So it adds uh, additional cooling capacity beyond the uh, vapor cycle refrigeration. So interesting. You will notice a definite improvement in hot weather. Yeah. Wow. Cool. I think that's because my dad. One thousand to go. One thousand to go. My dad always like, can you warm it up? Can you cool it down? You know, because it's tough with the slider a little bit sometimes. Yes. Well, you know, we have remote control that we can um, give to the passengers in the right. back so they can have. And that's on that new app. It right? is. Yes. Okay. Yep. Which is cool. Yep. Yep. App based. I think, uh, I think that would take my dad about 20 hours to get used to. I think you'd need some citation max lessons. Or is it easy? Uh -huh. Is it easy to figure no, it's, out? It's actually easy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That's great. Similar, similar to everything else that we see on our iPads yeah. these days. Yeah. Icons, touch it, slide the bar. Well, as noted, there's 14 minutes. Wow. So we beat the prediction by a minute, and we've also run into temperatures above standard, so that even adds more credibility to the that time is, to climb numbers. That is very impressive. And we have one, two, three, four, five, five men on board. Yes. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's very, very impressive. Wow. So what, sh what should we be looking for at 41, kind of that you see kind of flying this thing real world on the on the speed point of view? 7.6, seven, 7.5? Seven, I would expect uh, we'll see 7.6 today with temperatures okay. and weights. Well, that's not a slow No, and you also see yeah. the cabin altitude is a little bit uh, lower than what you would run in 3 plus. Yep. 6,900 yep. at 40. So we can show you a little bit. There's the pilot re reversionary modes and the autopilot panel by uh, Rockwell Collins. Nope. And you have mentioning down here you have the throttles and this also very cool is that it's a different hydraulic system yes it's a 3000 psi system which is kind of cool so now you have a, a big boy uh speed brake handle you don't have a little little clip. that's right variable speed yeah. brake, so you're able to control it from zero to 100 percent which is very cool any point of the flight so you can actually be like whew, that feels that feels cool you have that and then you kind of come down here and same sort of general thing the only difference is for people is there's no gate on the uh, on the FedEx system. So basically, you start the the throttles in the idle detent, and then you would go and hit the either left or right engine start, and you would hit run, which is right up there, and that's that's it. There's no in the three plus, as we all know, you hit the starter, and then you have to go over the gate. Um, so a little bit different from that point of view, different, also. Different, yeah, slightly yeah. different movement. So uh, yeah, I hope everyone is going to enjoy the video today. Uh, if you are enjoying it, the greatest way that you can show support to the channel is hitting that thumbs up and that subscribe button down below. Um, we got some uh, some cool stuff coming in the next uh, few months, so stay tuned for that. But uh, this is definitely an, an exciting video, which uh, I'm excited to, to push to everyone on, on the YouTube. So we've reached Mach 0.74, still accelerating. Yep. We're at uh, 429 knots at the moment. So we've started our descent now, setting at about 3,500 feet per minute. So yeah, if you're on Instagram, a lot of the videos we post, they're sometimes two, four, six, eight weeks behind. Um, so if you do want to kind of stay tuned where I am on a more of a daily basis, go ahead over to Instagram and uh, 
type in Citation Max and the number one, Citation Max one, and uh, that's uh, uh, my channel on Instagram. So go give that a follow. And number five, Charlie, Juliet, descending maintain level 240. Good by level 240, five, Charlie. Standing by for a Five, Charlie, Juliet, uh, Lebanon, is that your two o'clock and about uh, 30 miles? I was going to swing you around so you could lose some altitude, but if you want to turn in, I can turn you in. Uh, you can turn us back to the south of that work for you. No, south is not going to work. So stay on this heading. It's going to maintain 11,000. The altimeter at Lebanon is 3014. Take 11,000, 3014. And we also got two, Sam back two, here today. Two. Everyone knows Sam. One, Sam flies on Instagram three, and is a huge part of the channel. Two, so he uh, three, flew three, out from Indi three, Indiana three, to come help uh, miles, with all the filming uh, and stuff. So that's been a huge help. So a big thank you to Sam who uh, just did his first solo, which is awesome. November 5, Charlie Julia, clear direct Lebanon Airport. Okay, right turn direct Lebanon, 325 Charlie Julia, thanks. November 5, Charlie Julia, Lebanon, eat at this hotel, digital, 365, and you got hotel. We have hotel this time, 5 Charlie Julia. Oh, actually, India just came out, digital, 365. Let me know when you get India. We'll get it, thanks. Just a little more there, let's get the India. Five is on initial contact, give information, also, India. This guy sounds friendly. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah. he's happy, which is good. It's good, we like that. It's information, India 1753, Zulu weather. Wind 330 at 11, gust 19, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 3, dew point minus 11, altimeter 3011. Arriving IFR aircraft, expect a visual approach. Traffic arriving and departing runway 36. Hazardous weather for the New England area. The turbulence, strong surface wind. Moderate turbulence below 15,000. Further information yeah. from flight service facilities. Advise on initial contact, give information, India. I'm going to try the speed brakes here, Max. Yeah, all right. So everyone stay tuned on that left wing. Maintain 6,000, report 11 on airport site for visual. That's 6,000. We'll call the airport and we have the uh, 325 trailer. Maintain 6,000, report 11 on airport site for visual. Thank you. So you already can feel a noticeable difference of not having that cabin shake. Yes. Which is, which is nice. And we're at 100%. 100%. You know, if you take it out about 30% or so, it will still yeah. give you the yeah. speed reduction you need, but the passengers probably won't even have that center. shake. Yeah. yeah, that's that's a really nice feature. 514, contact Boston, center 125.57. Yeah. That should keep the speed under 250. You just hear that? Okay. Someone meowed on board. I heard that, <laughs> yeah. I do believe I have the airport at 12 o'clock. <laughs> the two runways... Oh boy. <laughs> we'll see when we get a little closer. Yeah. We'll, we'll end up on a left downwind for 3.6. It's my plan. So. Sounds like a plan. Uh, yeah. Sounds good. It's just it's tucked right on the hills there, I believe. But with snow on the ground and uh, not much color relief, it's easy to mistake yes. terrain for what you think is the airport. Yep. That's so true. The one thing I noticed was the, uh, the kind of the TV screen back there. Remember you can kind of see the monitor. Yeah, I got it. Altitude. Cancel IFR, ma'am. November 325, Teller Juliet, Roger. IFR cancellation is speed, swap 1200. Contact Lebanon Tower 125.9 or 5. We'll come we'll talk to you in probably 10 minutes coming up. Roger that. I'd say let's slow here at uh, yep. 6 max and we'll put out approach flaps here. We'll do this final 8 miles of sounds under good. 200 knots. That yep. sounds okay that to you. That sounds like a great plan. All power to the tower here. And you, do you see the field there? I do. Yep. I'm just going to get on that left exactly. downwind. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah, when we get 200 knots, we'll, we'll go ahead and start configuring. Sounds good. Whoa. Uh, we found that happened. Found a little turbulence here. Medivac Guard 2, Lebanon Tower, transition approved, Lebanon now, altimeter 3011. All right. Flaps are teeth. Oh, no. Yeah. It's like bobbling up. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Let's go Medivac flaps. Guard 2, I'm expecting yeah, a, a yep. Sounds good. Uh, shortly yeah. for runway I'll 36. Uh, he just went VFR, right? Uh, he should be wow. talking to him. Wow. That came out of nowhere. Minutes. Roger, well, we, uh, 
and we can start down. Yep. Autopilot. Tower. Autopilot. Autopilot. It's about six to the uh, northwest. Will be visual for three six. Station three two five Charlie Juliet Lebanon Tower. Verify you have this India and report a midfield left downwind for runway three six. Altitude. We'll call midfield left downwind for three six three two five Charlie. Juliet. Alright, I see gear down three greens, that's always a good thing. Yes. I'm going to turn your range down yep. a little bit. So Thank you. Medevac, Airport dog two, that traffic will be entering on the left downwind for 3-6. Alright, I might turn downward now. Yeah, sounds good. Alright, clear left, looking good. Tower 325, Charlie, Juliet, starting left downwind, 3-6. Station 5, Charlie Juliet, runway 36, cleared to land, wind 330 at 10, altitude 22. Clear to land 36, 325, Charlie Juliet. Alright, we're clear to land. And after landing, sir, we will just uh, taxi back for departure and request a clearance to white points. Citation uh, 5, Charlie Juliet, uh, Raji can expect that right on this frequency. Oh, it was silky smooth for the whole flight until we found the bumps. Uh, you're right at 6,000 feet. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, beautiful views. Burn off the left. No factor. Medivac.2, no traffic between you and the med center. Frequency change at your discretion. Core cool airport here, kind of in the mountains. All right. All right, flaps 35, yep. please. Yep, final flaps. Thank you. Wind 350 at 10, gust 23. Altitude. Alright. Alright, so we got gear down 3 green, flaps 35. Got the ampers off, pressurizations checked, or landing checks are complete. Alright, 15 knots off the left. So in this aircraft, after you land, you won't have the ground flaps, but you'll have ground spoilers. And similar to the 3 Plus, just land the airplane normally, lower the nose, and then pull the ground spoilers out. There's no rush on it. It's awesome. just on that handle. It'll be all the way to the aft. Kind of detail. Sounds good. Wind shifted around pretty much right to the nose now. 500. Sink rate. Sink rate. Now we're idle. Very good. A little closer. There you go. And All right. Down. A little more. There you go. Very nice. Uh, All the way to the back detail. Station 5, Charlie uh, Juliet, turn uh, left on taxiway. Well, if you can make the runway intersection, you can do that, or taxiway Bravo. We can do the runway, sir. We've got just a little change of plans. We will stop and shut down for a few minutes, but then we'll uh, 
start up and request the clearance to white plane. Hello everyone, welcome to Lebanon, New Hampshire. That was a pretty sporty arrival. And we'll see everyone in the next video. Take care.